One of the things that, you know, we're keeping an eye on, too, is the actual temperature because we are below freezing in southern and central New Hampshire. Now, right now, that's not an issue, but you notice the sprinkles developing just off of the south shore. These are going to continue to develop west. Now, they're going to be all just plain rain sprinkles over the next few hours to develop in eastern Mass. But if you're watching us from central New Hampshire, then that's going to be one area that you might get just a little pocket of very light icing later on this morning. Sustained wind, to your point, is, yeah, blowing steady at 18 miles an hour from Boston to Plymouth and 20 to 25 miles per hour on the Cape. Remember, that's not gusts. That's just the steady stuff. And that does contribute to that wind chill. And that's why it feels like 27 in Boston. I showed you in the feels like forecast. It really doesn't feel like more than about this. 31 degrees is your maximum feels like forecast for today. It is a wintry feeling day, even if it's raindrops, not snowflakes that come down as they back in off the ocean. And that is the setup, right? We talked about it yesterday. There's a storm out over the ocean. It is a huge and powerful storm, and it's got enough reach that it's throwing some moisture back on us. It's also holding at bay the next storm. So that one can't get in here until the ocean one lets go. But it's never good when you got like a, a waiting line of storms that just want, want to come in and impact you, right? Uh, that tells you for the most part you've got an unsettled forecast coming up. That's exactly what we have over the next few days. So timestamp in the upper right, 9.15 this morning. Here are the showers spreading in. See what I mean about a little pink? Right now it's 33 at 915 at Manchester, 34 at Lawrence. That doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room, though, and that's why there may be a couple of spots that can get just a little touch of light freezing rain, and, you know, I, I think road treatments would not probably be needed, but crews should be at the ready anyhow. As we get on to 1230, that's not going to be the case, though. Temperature is able to climb into the mid-30s. There's still sprinkles around. When the kids are getting home from school, it should just be probably a sprinkle here and there, not a lot of rain coming down, and then it'll start up again as we get into the evening and the overnight tonight with more in the way of showers and drizzle. Tomorrow, I do think we have some showers around in the morning, maybe a break at midday, and then more showers that come in during the course of the evening. You're a little bit milder than today. It's not quite so wintry feeling. Thursday still looks to be a rainy day. Don't see any change to that. And by Friday, it probably rains in the morning, gets out of here. And you know what, though? It does end up giving us a nice weekend by the way things look right now. Still think of the rain uh, shot that we get by Thursday morning is on the order of a quarter inch. But when you figure in Thursday, it still looks like there's overall about two inches of rain that comes down this week, all told. So high temperatures today running just barely at 40, maybe not even making it. But we looked at the impact of the breeze, right? Tonight, you don't get down to freezing. There's no icing to worry about in southern New England. That may be the case in parts of northern New England through the interior. And then tomorrow, you know, we should be able to break into the 50s for many. Do you notice Boston, though? I've got you at 48 degrees. That's because there's still going to be a very light wind, which means it's going to tend to blow in off the ocean. Uh, we get to Thursday. At first alert for the impact to your driving, your commuting. And then by the time we get to the weekend, I like the way it's looking better. Maybe a little shower very early Easter morning. There's a low chance of that and a chance of rain or snow getting out to next week. So it's not like the pattern breaks anytime soon.